Hey guys, it's the Matrix here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, download and install and use a Roblox rig inside of Blender. Now this is going to be a little bit different because the version that I'm using is paid for. It's that uh, you got to pay five dollars for it, uh, but it'll have a the blocky character rig. It'll have a man rig, a woman rig, and a Santa rig even I believe um, in the same package. And I'll show you how to alternate between those in Blender. I'm not gonna go over how to use Blender. There's plenty of tutorials for that, and I might leave a link or two for that, as that would be a full hour just to go and explain that. So I'm just gonna very simply show you guys a couple of tips. This is like assuming you have a decent knowledge of Blender and are just ready to use a Roblox rig and not sure how to go about that process. But yeah, I'm gonna be using 2.79. I know 2.8 is out, but the rigs only work in 2.79. I don't know about 2.8 because I never used 2.8. So I, I'm still sticking with 2.79 for Blender. But now, anyways, I found this really cool guy uh, called Matt Roblox, I believe. Uh, that's where I get my Roblox rigs from. That's what I've been using this entire time for my thumbnails to make really nice poses and things with that along that nature. So, it's this guy right here, Matt Roblox, I'll leave a link to him in the description below, he's a pretty cool guy, made some really nice rigs, So again, you can also just go ahead and type up in the search bar here on YouTube or wherever for whatever other Roblox rigs, there's not that many out there, I don't think, but uh, Matt Roblox is a really good place to start, um, he's got this ultimate rig, like I said, with the different, like, versions that you can use all in the same package for uh, $5 only, which is very cheap. I think he could have done like 15 easily or something like that, but that's a very good price in my book. But then he's also just got a couple of the solo ones, I guess, that I think you could also buy and, well, not buy, but I think you can just go ahead and download. Like, here's the woman rig. Um, yeah, so you can also just download them separately, get them in separate files, but, I mean, I would just recommend just paying $5 and getting it all in one, and I'll show you how to uh, switch between them easily, like, like he's done. But yeah, he's got the woman rig here, the man rig, and this and this stuff was like from two years ago, and, and I think it might still work. But, you know, if you have just a plain simple blocky version, he's got the uh, rig version 4 out here that will work just fine. You can just go ahead and download that if you got the blocky version, or like I said, like the man or woman version. That could work as well, I think. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to be talking about with the ultimate rig. Um, I'm not going to use the face because we already have faces, so you have to kind of go to Roblox Studio to remove the face, and I don't think the face just kind of looks a little weird, but yeah, no, let's go ahead and get started with this, so, um, like, if you buy, if you download the Roblox rig version 4, that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do, that's, uh, this one down here from two years ago with 25,000 views, um, like I said, I'll even link to his channel in the description for you guys to check out, then you have this download link, and then you have this, and this is what it's gonna look like. So let's see what the difference is here. A wrist follows IK when switched to IK for arms. B wrist will not follow IK. Okay, so I think I'm gonna just do the A version. Like I said, I'm not gonna go over how to use Blender and stuff like that. Um, there's plenty of tutorials for that. But yeah, we're just gonna use the face list one. I think that'll make, be the best. But yeah, and then something like this is how your, you know, your character is gonna show up. And, and I'm going to show you how to get to this version. Uh, my, my character's not going to start out looking like that because I already have my character changed into an outfit. But that's what I'm going to be using the Roblox Red version 4 for. But you can see here in the properties tab underneath the ultimate rig, we got the boy, girl, man, uh, Roblox 2.0, Santa, and woman there. Apparently that we can all switch between with the different legs I'll show you there in a second that's where you go do that but for right now I'm just gonna show you how to um, change into your character so this is where you're also gonna need Roblox Studio for so go ahead open up Roblox Studio let's go ahead and make this a quick and simple video hopefully for you guys so you guys can understand now I've been having to do this a couple times because I would get confused myself I was like um, what am I doing wrong here but okay so let's go ahead and open up Roblox Studio you're gonna get your character whatever so I'll also so I'll also leave a link to Lone Characters Already in Pros plugin. Um, the actual guy Already in Pros, he does have a paid version that you can get from the actual guy, but then there's another guy that releases the exact same thing for free. So, yeah. Um, pick your fantasy for that. <laughs> but, okay. So, just go ahead and get that plugin here. This is the easiest and most simplest way to get whatever character you want in Roblox. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Spawn R6. I don't know if that matters. 
but yeah, then we got your character down to here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this just to something else. I, I, I think this part matters. Um, matrix skin ID test. This is how you're gonna be getting your skin for your Roblox character in Blender. Or even for your Roblox rig, whatever you choose to go with. So we don't need the hats, so we can cut that. I think we, I do believe we need to keep the humanoid. That's gonna be important part in this, so keep going and keep that. But yeah, let's go get rid of the hats. Whatever hats your character has to make them bald. And then go ahead and right click on it. Go to the bottom here, export selection. And also go to name the same thing here, matrix skin ID test. And then you just want to go ahead and create a file somewhere for, for your skin IDs. Because you might have more than one uh, skin that you would want to go ahead and create. So this is for again for the blocky version, but there is like a man and woman and all that other stuff that he's got there as well. So if we just go ahead. Yeah, Roblox skins IDs, this is where my files and folders are at, so matrix skin ID test, that's where I need to remember that as. So, then you want to go back over to here, um, click, right click on the head. Like I said, again, uh, you have a general knowledge of Blender, so like shift F to kind of like get in the viewport and WAC to kind of like move around, stuff like that. All that good stuff, so, then you want to go to the texture tab, over here, uh, open this folder texture, and... Then you want to go wherever you saved your thing, which was right here. Robot skins ID for me. Matte skin I test ID uh, one, I think it was called. Open text, and then bam, you got your little Roblox character there. Now, if you want that to go with the hats, then just uh, go ahead and hit Control Z to get your hats back, like so on the PC. And then uh, when you want to do, go to close the close the hats again, I guess. Get rid of that, um, and then copy all this together. Right click, export selection, name your hats, matrix hats, and then create another folder for Roblox OBJs because um, this is what it's going to be saved as as an object OBJ file. You can name these whatever you want, of course, but I'm just keeping it simple. And then you can have like an endless whatever amount of OBJs, like you have swords. You know, you're going to have people, you can have rockets, you can have trees, you can have whatever you want to go in your scene in here with for Blender. Um, and that's, that's what I've been doing to make that work. So I got another folder called Roblox OBJs. I'm just going to uh, update that just in case. But yeah, no, and then... Oh, and you also want to make sure that you're in Cycles Render. Sorry if I didn't mention that before, but make sure you're in Cycles Render. Kind of obvious for if you already know a little bit about Blender, make sure you're in Cycles Render. But yeah, so then you want to go into file, import, wavefront.obj, and Roblox OBJs, and find your matrix hats. Find whatever you, you saved your hat as. Um, which I have a lot of stuff that I've saved. So we got matrix hats down here, hit import OBJ, and then it should just pop up right there if you didn't move anything around. But yeah, make be sure to not move your character around whenever you uh, spawn it in. And it shouldn't be good. So then you got your hats or whatever there. You can kind of like mess around and play if you got like wings or something, you know. Uh, you can do that. But yeah, no, I also turn on ambient occlusion. Okay, so now we're going to talk about like actually rendering the guy. So I usually turn on ambient occlusion. That provides a little more light going into the world. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, ambient occlusion. Turn that on down there. Okay, and this is kind of like all the same, like the 2010, 100% for resolution. Okay. Yeah, and then, and like, make sure when you, when you get these settings done, that you go to the file and save as. I, I think I'm also going to go to CPU, because, like, for whatever reason, the GPU does not want to work with uh, 2.79, since Blender 2.80 came out, so that's good. But yeah, then, no, you can hit right-click on the little thing. Okay, so I'm in object mode. So it's important that to go into post mode, click on the actual rig. Okay, so it's in post mode. Click on the actual rig, then you hit R to kind of like rotate. Then you can rotate on the X, Y, and Z axis. Very fancy. So I'm just going to go ahead and have that, and then click on that bit, ro and hit R to rotate. So you yeah, shift F to kind of move around. R to rotate, and you can kind of like have him pose a little bit like that. This just gives him like a little bit more of a smooth uh, texture. You know, that's why I really like this guy's rig, because it allows me to get like really nice smooth textures and really nice poses, you know? Then you can even 
like stretch his body if you want. You can like make him be really skinny like that, or you can you know go across the x-axis or z. You know you can like make him be like he's falling over, like whoa, I'm falling over, I can't help myself, whoa, whoa, I'm falling over. Oh my goodness, okay. But yeah, we can just do something like that for now. Okay, okay, not too sure what that does, but that's how I have it done pretty much for that. Um, we're gonna go back into my settings over here, over here, because this is where the ultimate rig is. That if you guys want to pay the five bucks and have all the other rigs into one package, then you can do that there. But just go ahead and hit Shift A to bring up this ad menu. Oh, you gotta be in object mode before you can do that though. Shift A to bring up the camera. Go to the camera, hit Enter, and then uh, kind of like line up your shot. You know, make sure you have your uh, GPU settings all set and saved and stuff like that, you know, make sure or if you're using the CPU, use the CPU to render it out. But yeah, then the same thing again, go into uh, pose mode, go ahead and ha like have him waving or something, go X, Y, and Z access. And then you can also hit um, R twice and go into like a free pose mode, which might be useful. Okay, and boop, 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 boop. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. And then like, I'm gonna have him kind of like free pose rotate there. Okay, there we go. That's that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, you can also look at the last tutorial then because I showed you how to like change the face. But yeah, I'll, I'll go and quickly show you show you it here a little bit, I guess. So let's go to the to the head section. Go to the face thing, and then uh, go to the catalog. Go find my new face you want on the catalog on the Roblox site. Copy that entire link. And then um, copy and paste that here to change the face there. If you want to easily change the face over there. as another little bit of a tip. But yeah, back to the ultimate rig. So we got him in, in, in this uh, kind of funny pose. I don't know what he's doing there. But yeah, no, let me just go ahead and hit... Rin um, let's just go ahead and hit render, render image. You know, go ahead and make sure your file is saved. Make sure um, this... Uh, you know, make sure you file and save whenever you um, had the the character right as soon as you had your skin in the Roblox rig. Go ahead, hit files and save as, and then you can just bring up that same file over and over again. You don't necessarily have to save the file at when you're posing. You know, that's when you just get the image. But yeah, you know, go ahead and do that. It'll probably render a lot faster on GPU as it's like a 1080 or something, uh, 2060 actually, I think. But, you know, like I said, for some reason it's just not uh, not going to work on the on 2.79, which I don't know why. Okay, so we're going to render this out, and then I'll you can go ahead and hit image, save as. And then I'll show you how to uh, quickly switch between the body parts, things like that. It's not that, it's not that difficult. You guys don't know about it. But, yeah. No, you just go hit down here to image save as image and then you can you know, I have another um, category for all my images that I use for my thumbnails so matrix let's just go ahead and literally talk, call this a matrix and then it'll pop up the first <laughs> thing so save as image okay and then you go to the folder you go to your uh, poses where wherever they would be or again whatever you caught inside the column you want to call them poses or whatever. But yeah, so then here's your A matrix as a PNG file. Um, I guess the other thing that I'll kind of like show you as well, going into back into the ultimate ring, yeah. I guess it's kind of important to tell you this also for when you're rendering out stuff. Go ahead and have like transparency on. So I'm trying to see where it is. So you can like, you know, have a transparent image and then easily be able to take that to the back of, of whatever background you're using so you don't have to you know um, do that yourself so I'm trying to see where yeah down here so it's in the camera film transparent make sure you have that on just so you can easily drag your character right into whatever background scene that you are working on but yeah th let's just go ahead and quickly show you guys what I mean by uh doing this part here so okay I'm not too sure how to go back so we're just gonna leave that I'm not like there's a way to like reset your character pose what I'm gonna just gonna do is go to file open recent major straight right and then boom so yeah like, like I just have mine called major straight right faceless 
as default blend and then that just takes you right back to here every time after you get your settings and stuff situated down here but yeah then let's go go to ultimate rig and show you guys what i mean so if you go to like the the boy the boy arm let's go ahead and have that so you want to have the eye so you can actually see it and then the camera so it'll render so that's that's the left bar boy arm okay um, and then you want to go over to here, left leg, left eyebrow, okay, left. We need to find where it was for the left boy, for the left, um, blocky thing. So, if we just go to select this, I guess, go into object mode, and right click on the arm. Yeah, left arm, so then we just go to get rid of that. And then you can see that we got the boy arm. And it should just work the same for the texture as well. So we go ahead and find wherever the heck the torso is. Boop, boop. And then we need the boy torso. So go ahead and have the render. And then the camera. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing for everything else. But that's pretty much how you do that. And then I think that this thing should still work in pose mode. Yep, there he goes. So yeah, um, not going against what Matt Roblox was doing because he was doing the same thing as well, kind of showing you guys how to do this stuff with his tutorials. I'm just going to try to do a few extra little things into one nice video. And now we have like this monster of a mashup here. But yeah, no, that's how to, um, you know, get a Roblox character into Blender 2.79. Kind of set it up a little bit. Like I said, you should have a general knowledge of Blender and things like that because otherwise this video would be an hour long but you know maybe I'll leave a good starter point for Blender if you guys want to um, start using Blender it's a, it's a very good tool to use especially for like I said for thumbnails and things like that even if it's using other people's objects but uh, materials and things like that but yeah no let me know what you guys think about this tutorial a uh, little bit more in depth than the last one and hopefully a little bit more um, knowledge given to you if you guys have any questions, any comments, any concerns, please let me know. If you guys want me to do another version of this video and try to do better, please give me any tips as to what I could do differently, as I'm always trying to do better in these how-to tutorials. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end things off here, so thank you all so much for watching, and from Mr. Matrix, I'll see you all next one. Peace out.